Right, so I know it's been a very volatile time in the market. Uh, it's been very risky. Markets are up, markets are down. And some of you might not be into that kind of risk. So in this video, I'm going to give you a couple of options that you can look at for guaranteed returns in South Africa. Hi, my name is Yolanda. I'm a wealth advisor. And on this platform, I give you easy, actionable tips, content and strategies that you can use to manage money well to live abundantly and build generational wealth. So we're talking about guaranteed investments in South Africa. There's five of them that I have to share with you today. And the first one is bank investments. Now, I talk a lot about not investing with the bank, mainly because their returns are below inflation. However, we are in a time where interest rates are increasing. And if you don't have that ap appetite to play on the equity markets, the bank investments might be there for you. Now, given that you might not get the returns that are higher than inflation, but rather than lose money to inflation, you rather lose less than uh, lose more. And the banks give you that option. Now, there are some very competitive interest rates. The banking products are usually fixed deposits. It means that your money is locked up for a period of time. And depending on the bank that you were, the product that you were, uh, you'll have different lengths in time where your money is fixed with the bank and you know your rate of return prior to you investing. Okay, One of the disadvantages of that is that you're locked in at a particular rate. So if you join a product today and the product is giving you 5% an annum and in the next cycle, the reserve bank increases interest rates, you might get locked out of those in interest rate. Uh, increases because you're locked in at 5%. Different products work differently in South Africa. Some fixed deposits, you are allowed to make additional contributions. Some not. Uh, some allow you to take out a portion without any penalties. Some don't. So do some thorough research if you're considering this sort of product as to the various investment vehicles that are available to you and how they work. Understand how they work. Another thing that you need to know about fixed deposits are that those returns are interest based. And depending on the amount that you invest in these interest based returns in the fixed deposits, you could be liable for tax. All right. In South Africa, we have a tax exemption on interest bearing profits of 23,800 Rand for individuals that are under 65. And for individuals over 65, it's a, a slightly higher rate or exemption that you do get. If you have a substantial amount of money in the bank, say a million Rand, and you're getting a 10% return on that, a 10% return on a million Rand is 100,000 a year. Of that 100,000, 23,800 Rand will be tax exempt meaning you won't pay tax on that. And the balance will be added to your gross income. And that is what you'll pay tax on as to the relevant tax tables in South Africa. The next guaranteed uh, return investment in South Africa are basically guaranteed investments that you would get from investment houses outside of banks. Again, those will be interest-based investments. And the disadvantage you have with those, again, is that you're locked in at a specific rate. And as we know, we are in for a series of interest rates hikes in South Africa. So the disadvantages of getting into that now is you're locking yourself into a lower rate. Okay, but you do have that advantage of knowing in advance that if I invest today in five years time, this is what my outcome is going to be. The next type of guaranteed return investment in South Africa are government bonds. Now, government bonds are a debt instrument for the government. The government needs money for development, for interest, infrastructure and providing service delivery to the people. Sometimes in South Africa, a lot of the time, the tax revenue just doesn't cut it. So the government has to borrow money and uh, they borrow money by issuing these bonds and us like investors directly as, as, as retail purchases or indirectly via something like the pension funds or unit trust or even endowments. Uh, even international investors can go come in, buy these bonds and basically the government will issue a coupon rate like an interest rate and they'll pay an interest rate every year. And then at the end of the period, you'll get your money back. All right. So with South Africa, they have a very favorable interest rate because of the whole economic situation, the way things are. Government gets downgraded, ESCOM energy crisis, a whole series of things that make us at times below uh, below investment grade. Okay. Our rate of lending becomes our rate of borrowing becomes more expensive. So government has to entice investors with a little bit of a better return than providing higher interest rates. 
So that makes government bonds, South African government bonds, very lucrative. Right? There's different wrappers you can put around these government bonds, like a tax-free investment, like a unit trust to reduce your tax liability. Obviously, you need some strategy application to that as to which tax wrapper you would apply. But they do offer good, stable, fixed investment returns. So the fourth investment that gives you guaranteed returns are money market accounts. Now, I did a long video on money market uh, accounts and money market funds. Go and check out that video. There's a big difference. The, the money market account is provided by the banks. Money market funds are what people like I provide. And the advantages of um, having this money market fund, again, it's interest-based. You have easy access to your money. And also, you can apply different sorts of tap, tax wrappers on them that will allow you to have some tax advantages as opposed to getting that uh, interest exemption only. If you exceed that exemption, then you're going to have to pay taxes on, on all of your money market returns. And finally, the f last product I have is basically a combination of everything I discussed, but put it in a tax-free wrapper or a unit trust wrapper. So you can have one investment in a tax-free wrapper that has a blend of a money market, that has a blend of a government bond, uh, that has interest-bearing instruments in between that would allow you to get a fixed income return at a, a very tax-savvy uh, wrapper around it to, to ensure that you keep more of your money and you're not bleeding it through the various taxations in South Africa. So if you're keen on any one of those, uh, drop a comment down below. Better yet, book a, an appointment where you're watching this video and we can be chatting one-on-one -on, -one on how we can secure these kind of investments for you.